Hi, my name is Laura Hovland and I'm part of the team working on the delivery of the Tour de Yorkshire here in York. Uh, Tour de Yorkshire is a three-day cycling event taking place between the 1st and 3rd of May this year. Uh, it's a legacy of the Grand Depart last year, which was described as the grandest Grand Depart in history, which saw the region really come alive. Um, there are a team of six of us based here at the Guildhall who are working on the race, all of us with different roles and responsibilities. Uh, my main responsibility is working on community engagement uh, in connection with the race, so talking to residents and businesses about how they can make the most of elite cycling coming to the region once again. All the racing in York on the 2nd of May takes place on a 20 kilometer circuit which goes all the way around the city. We've got a women's race in the morning starting at 11 o'clock from Naismire Road which will complete four laps on of the 20 kilometer circuit. I'm finishing up at about between one and a half past one, again up at the Naismire. The men's race sets off from Selby at about 11.30 in the morning and will come all the way around through East Yorkshire and come into York and join the circuit at about 2.30 in the afternoon. The men's race will then do two and a half laps of the circuit and then culminating in a big finale up at the Naismire. The women's race will have between 80 and 100 competitors. The men's race will have about 160 uh, cyclists taking part, including big names like Bradley Wiggins, Marcel Cattell, and hopefully a few of the big names from the Sky team, like Chris Froome and Mark Cavendish. Uh, it's going to be a full day of racing action in York. The roads will be closed from about 8 a.m. until approximately 5 p.m., but there's going to be a lot of cycling action taking place during the city for everybody to enjoy. There was an amazing atmosphere in York during the Tour de France and we're hoping to recreate this with the Tour de Yorkshire. Uh, we've got lots of uh, things happening in and around the city on the day. Bishopthorpe Road are going for it again with a big, big street party. Micklegate is another great place to come and watch the race. You can see the riders squeeze through those bar walls, down the, down the hill and through the cobbles. Fosgate are also throwing a street party and we're expecting there to be a real festival atmosphere up at the Knavesmire where we've got a fringe event where there'll be street food, live music, fairground and lots of family friendly activities for people to come along and enjoy as well as the big spectacle of the race coming past. If you've got any questions or queries about the race or you'd like to know more, there's lots of information available on the City of York Council website. Also, you could follow the Twitter feed, or if you want to get in touch with the team direct, please feel free to drop us an email at the email address that's below.